hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl snow girl so today I'm gonna be making one of our renowned juices in Jamaica called sorrel drinks and it's one of my favorite drinks it's a perfect drink to make for the holidays around the Christmas time and it's a fruit that is used for a variety of different things in Jamaica and um just I want you guys to stay tuned well I started out so this is these are the items you're gonna need in order to make the sorrel drinks firstly this is a sorrel it's um it's a Jamaican sorrel drink um or fruit or plant I believe it's from Jamaica this is a brand that I'm gonna be using is Caribbean dreams that's a product of Jamaica right here as you can see is a product of Jamaica so this is what I'm I'm gonna be using one pack for now because it's, I don't have a big pot so I don't necessarily need to have like a huge pot if it's just one pack and you will see why because once you put in one pack it will stretch basically and another item you're gonna need is what we call ginger I've peeled it but this is how it looks it's root ginger as you can see, this is root ginger. You can get it in any supermarket here in America or anywhere in the grocery store or where you go and shop for foods. Just ask them for root ginger. Now, I've peeled mine off, and this is how it looks now. I used a knife and peeled it off. You can scrape it off or you can peel it off. But I peeled it off, so I did a little preparation ahead of time. Another item you're going to need is some sugar. And I'm using brown sugar, preferably this one, the dark one, because to me, I don't think the dark one is sweeter and is much better than the, than the other one. Another item you're going to need, I don't have a strainer, but this is what I'm using. It's similar to a strainer. You're going to need this because when you finish boiling the, the sorrel and the ginger together or the cloves or whatever else you put in there, you're going to need something to strain off the sediments the part the the soil itself and separate the soil from the juices that came out of it another item you're going to need is this you need a bowl a mix, mixing bowl if you don't have this you just need a container that's deep enough to hold the soil in it oftentimes people use a big jar or a jug or something like that but you, you're going to need that um i'm also using this right here a jug a, just a little simple jug to store it so I can put it in the fridge to let it chill or get cooler because the soil tastes much better when it's cool and chill for me so that's what I'm gonna put it in and then I'm gonna serve it in, in this little glass and just put it in the glass and put a little bit of ice in it not a lot and you have it chilled you know because the soil once served chill it's more refreshing and you know it cools you down because once the soil boils you would have to let it cool down and you also need to let it just stay there for a little while and before you can actually do anything with it let it after you boil it you're gonna let it just simmer settle and get cool and then you mix it with the rum if you want it with alcohol or without the rum just virgin so just stay tuned guys as i said this is it sorrow drinks from caribbean dreams ah, thank you guys i will keep you posted as to how it turns out